We're less than 24 hours away from President-elect Joe Biden being sworn in as President of the United States. A live look at the U.S. Capitol tonight. And on the eve of Inauguration Day, we want to bring in our political analyst, Gary Dietrich. Gary, good to see you as always. So uh, let's dive in here. Once President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in, will impeaching President Trump be at the top of the uh, to-do list for Congress? Or do you think it's going to actually be on Biden's agenda? Well, actually, it's on its to-do list, but it's not at the top. I mean, Biden has made clear he wants to get his key appointees confirmed. And what happens when the articles of impeachment come over, Adrian, is that as of noon, every day, six days a week, the Senate must conduct that impeachment trial. There's talk about bifurcating the day, trying to do other business in the morning, but that takes 100 senators in unanimous agreement. They are not there yet. So don't expect this impeachment trial, if it does start soon, to start before next week. Tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting the three new members, including new Senator Alex Padilla from California, to be sworn in. That will put in motion the process to put Chuck Sumer in charge of the Senate once Vice President-elect Harris votes with the other 50 Democrats to make that happen. Yeah, speaking of, Harris resigned her seat yesterday. She prepares for the vice presidency. What can we expect moving forward, Gary, with Congress split down the middle and her playing such a prominent role in a, as a tie-breaking vote? Well, that's an excellent question, Tony, and one yet to be decided, because when you had a 50-50 split like this, now aides are talking about the fact that they may go to a power sharing arrangement where Democrats do not have unilateral majority in every committee. But in fact, those committees are split evenly between Republicans and Democrats. So we could see quite a novel arrangement here in the Senate that we haven't seen for decades where there's shared control, shared power going forward. Hmm. We'll see how nice they can stay once they get into power, though. All right, Gary, thanks for your time.